Hello, and welcome to Watching Grass Grow, Episode 3, where today we are taking a look at the updates to the layout and exciting new additions and repairs that I have done. Now, I shouldn't really have said new additions, but there are some new faces on the layout, particularly my Ketten Cement car. Um, this is a seven wagon Bachman branch line car. I'm not going to do a depot hauls on it uh, because it's just too small. And I, yeah, you know, it's just not really special. It's just a Bachman branch line. Here's the box right here Bachman branch line box, standard. I got it from a seller in Texas. Oh, uh, it's not. But, uh, yeah, it's weathered and it's an eight plant. But, uh, um, so back there we got a uh, shell, tanker, two new livestock wagon, new two, two new livestock cars, and that single dome car right there. Those three are all Atherin. And then I have a Tyco tanker right there with some lifelike trucks. Um, I should probably get some Tyco trucks on it. But um, yeah, in the case for new additions, we have a new siding, which originally used, which had the switch over there originally where the Mikado is. But um, right here... We have my coach siding, which right now hosts my three aluminum Santa Fe cars. Really nice cars. Um, I should really get some more KDs for it, but um, I just realized this is derailed. But um, yeah. I really like the entrance to the yard. It kind of looks fun. And also, I moved the uh, crossover up there. So, yeah. And then, right back there, that's something that hasn't appeared in a video before. It's a uh, special crossing that, when you run over it with an engine, it uh, pulls down a metal wire... And the metal wire triggers the, uh, things to go down. But, um, the coaling tower is just sitting there right now because, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that is the additions to the layout. I am going to demonstrate the, uh, thing back there. That thing. So, uh. goes down and the engine continues running yeah I think it adds a lot to the layout I really like it it's pretty nice now it's time to address that thing my Bachman J class And now, it's time to address a very big elephant in the room. The J-Class. Now, last time I talked about this thing, I was telling you that I removed the motor out of it. And yes, that's true, I did. But, I discovered that when I put it back in... That it wasn't the gears and the engine, no, it wasn't that. It was the motor itself. I found out that the base plate, that the plate holding the motor together, was loose. Or, yeah, loose. And it was causing the engine to jam up. So, I tightened two screws, and then I put oil onto the rotating rod in the motor. And now...
this thing moves properly. It's a big relief to see this thing running again. Um, I fixed it once before, and it ran... Oh, sorry about that, folks, but uh, this appears to be the problem. Let's... Um, you know what? I'll just uh, take you through the maintenance process. Um, basically, what I do is that I find something in the room, like pliers, and I use them to push down the nail into the track again if I can get it in it's kind of hard to do with one hand occupied but uh nothing I can't do that flush let me just use the camera um will the engine hit it i don't think it will but just to be a little more careful roll the engine back all right that's nice and flush there we go might have damaged a tie there but yeah that's that now where were we right talking about this thing Hold on. It's having a bit of trouble there. Um, this thing, it's an iffy runner at best, but um, this is what I do to troubleshoot it, basically. So, the axle with all the driving stuff the axle with all the gears and stuff it's actually the back axle which is very inefficient and kind of comes prone to unseparating because you know this is a vintage bachman it's got the nylon stuff in it but um it sometimes the axles come apart and the axle comes apart and you sort of just got to squeeze it back in together and it goes back to running fine um you just can't put it under a lot of pressure like if it if it gets caught on something it will probably separate the axle again but um yeah now the reason why I'm still dealing with this thing is because, um, yeah, no, I put, I, uh, put too much money on buying it, but, um, yeah, like, right now, we're getting good running out of it, good running, and most of the time, the issue is not the engine itself, the cars, um, they're the cheap cars, like, lifelike Tyco, all that, but, um, yeah, it looks nice, runs nice, and, um, overall, it's really pleasant to watch, I'll probably throw in some older clips of it running before this, but, um, And we got an issue. Anyways, folks, I'm going to end it off with a shot of it coming in. I don't really show this thing. I don't really have this thing running with cars, but because that's like really the source of all the problems it has. But um, yeah, this thing, pretty nice engine if you can find one that isn't bad hasn't gone bad and doesn't have a lot of issues i recommend getting one of these i like it more than the shiny bachman thing even though this is bachman i still prefer it over the newer one it looks nicer with the saturn saturn finish 
Anyways, see ya folks. I am super sorry about all of the incidents that have happened in today's episode. Um, see you next time. Bye.